Hey, happy Monday. It is October 1st, new month, new you. No, I'm playing. Um, new month, same goals, different challenges, and you know, different obstacles. But yeah, at the end of the day, you're the same person. You just gotta keep thriving, gotta keep getting better, gotta keep elevating. Um, today's gonna be a fun one. Today is the first day where I change my routine. So you guys know I'm going for like a 600 pound like deadlift and a 400 pound squat. Well, 400 pounds I can hit on squat. Uh, for a 500 pound squat, but I actually like to slow it down a little bit. Um, instead of going for more PRs this month, I want to go for more quality reps. I want to go for more quality when it comes to my workouts. So I'm gonna go back to my six day split, which is basically back and biceps, chest and triceps, legs. Um, for legs, I like to do quads, and then I like to do hamstrings a separate day. That's four days, and I like to do shoulders and arms. And then with shoulders and arms, I like to incorporate some abs and cardio. That right there is a routine that I did during my prep, and I want to start getting myself in the mindset of prepping, the mindset of, oh, I got a show coming up, so I got to show the fuck up. Um, so yeah, for me, it's going to be a great week, exciting week, new new month, new energy, new, whew, I'm ready for it, let's go. It's my shoulder. Uh, we'll call it shoulder and chest day. It's a mixture of shoulders and chest. So I'm just gonna warm up with a neutral press. And the reason why I say neutral is because my palms are facing in, so therefore I'm just pressing straight in front of me. Well, not straight in front of me, but you get what I'm saying. One. Just like to warm up my shoulders before I get into chest. Damn, I need a haircut, yo. My shit is all types of fucked up. But nah, um, usually I don't do like a shoulder day. Um, well, not really. I do a shoulder day, but I've gone away from uh, my powerlifting phase and gone to my bodybuilding phase. So now I want to do more workouts to, I, you know, incorporate isolation, more workouts to, I, you, know, you know, really enhance my hypertrophy and then just going for power. Um, I want to get a little bit leaner, a little bit stronger, especially I want to start prepping for December. Um, December is when I started my last prep. I'm trying to start the same prep on December, um, just so I can go back in March, April, and then go for my show. Because second place wasn't enough. It was my first show, and I got second and third, but I need that first, I need that first, baby. And I know I know what I need to work on, and that's really the beautiful thing about it, because when you fail and you're like short this little bit, you're like, huh, that's what I need. And I need to start earlier. Um, last time I should've started earlier, so I'm making sure I'm doing that. Whew, let's go. Take a warm up set. <sighs> oh. A little bit heavier. I'm not gonna go too crazy with this. It's gonna be just four sets, 10 to 12, going for a flow of it. You gonna be sucked over. Yeah, I've been taking two rest days. The last two days, haven't done shit when it comes to working out. <laughs> but it's all good, we back at it. Just let me wake up, I haven't woken up yet. It always takes a few sets for me to sink in and then zoom in. And then that's where you don't hear from me. One more. That was a good one. <laughs> if I were to repeat those lyrics, you'd be like, what the fuck? <laughs> I don't listen to typical gym music. It's a mixture of instrumentals, rock, some rap, and then sometimes just a speech. It can be anything that day. <laughs> Depends how I'm feeling. Alright, one more. <laughs> I do five to six sets. Maybe seven, depending on feeling. I haven't had a chest in a minute, so... Well, it's been a while. Six days since my last chest day. So, give or take. Let's just see how it feels. Oh. 
holy shit. My client recommended this exercise. He's like, yo, Carl, give this a try. I was like, shit. <laughs> it's, I might be adding this to the regular routine. I just wish this bench could be positioned better. I can't get my full body just because of the way it's, it's faced. It is what it is, so uh, make use of what you got. All right, let me wake up a bit. start with 75 I'm gonna start with 70 today and I'm just gonna stick to that one weight I don't really feel like going higher um, especially starting with cables I'm already dead so yeah let's have some fun Good, especially after going for cables. Today's been a good chest day. It's been a while, but we can, we're getting back into it. I still need to wake up. muscle memory if you stop for a week just get back to just don't stop get right back into it
chest days, one thing that I love to do is on my first few exercises, I like to just do regular sets of just six to 10, five to 10. But then towards my last three exercises, I just like to do drop sets with every set, just to failure. Just to burn out the chest as much as possible, really tear those muscle fibers, get as much blood flow through in there and really feel every inch, every little, little crevice. <laughs> But a serious note though, towards the end of your workout, always have a certain workout, certain exercise that you can just do drop sets with and just keep going, keep pumping blood into the muscle. Cause that's gonna give you more when it comes to gains. I think for me, one of the biggest reasons why I probably, let's say year one to three, I could have done a lot more. I could have been a lot more. It was just due to the fact that I was only going to like that 10 to 12 rep range for everything. Until I realized, oh shit, bro, go to failure. It's your last two exercises. You still have some energy left. Go to failure. What the fuck are you doing? Hope you guys are joining us so far. Make sure to drop a like and hopefully I can unlock comments soon if YouTube will let me. Because I would love to hear your comments, your suggestions, as well as some critiques of what I can do better. Because hey, here's the thing. We all need to grow. We all need to learn on a daily basis. You don't know everything. I don't know everything. That's why I'm doing this. I want to learn. I want to grow. But what's importantly, I want to create and be part of a community that wants to do the same. So if you're watching this, drop a like, drop a follow. And I'll catch you in the next video. Let's keep this chest workout going, baby. Let's go. Um, but always 12 minimum for a lot of raises i don't like to go above either 20 pounds i like to keep it from 15 to 10 because with 15 to 10 i can get full control i can actually feel the fibers in the lateral head and i don't use the momentum even if i'm going to failure my momentum is still i want to keep it to just the slightest bit because at the end of the day one thing is to target the muscle like you got to think of bodybuilding as an angles game if you can keep yourself at a certain angle with a certain amount of reps for a certain amount of weight keep yourself in that angle because you're gonna consistently target the muscle. And when you keep compounding, targeting, compounding, that rep range is compounding, it's tearing those muscle fibers, the more the muscle is going to mature, the more it's going to grow, and the more it's going to evolve into the physique that you want. Once I finished with set four, set five, I was just ready to just be done with it. My shoulders were about to fall off. My chest was just literally shaking its own. And when that happens, that's my cue to be at the gym. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Remember, it's all about consistency. It's all about compounding the small little things that you do on a daily basis. When it comes to getting bigger, building more muscle, there's no secret to it. It's just about staying consistent, fam. You know, that's one thing I always tell kids that always come up to me at the gym. Like, bro, how'd you get so big? What are you taking? I'm like, bro, just stay consistent. Don't listen to any of these influencers trying to say, buy this, buy that. No, stay consistent with your routine. Stay consistent what you're eating and you will accomplish your goals be patient with yourself and that's the number one thing you have to be patient with yourself be patient and be willing to stay within this process but grow within that process but hope you guys enjoy hope you have a great day stay beautiful stay blessed peace